creativity, you will need some tape, a pair of scissors, a string, a note card with one hole already punched in it, a magnifying glass, and a 2x2 two two square piece of graph paper that we already cut for you. So this is what we need for the first thing. We're going to have to cut a hole in here, right? So I'm going to go ahead, take this, I'll fold it. It could be a circle, it could be a square, it could be a heart, really. I'll go ahead, whatever size. Cut it. Does not matter. So here it is. There it is. Is it tape? Go ahead. We're gonna tape this so it covers that hole. Just this hole, not that hole. right because I can touch it here this is gonna catch the particles okay take the string loop it through and we're gonna hang it wherever we want to catch the particles so I'll just hang it here for now um, make sure it doesn't touch anything and hope it doesn't rain really wow yeah. wow my tying skills are not great right I can see yeah so Have you ever noticed the tiny particles in the air? We breathe little pieces of stuff all the time. Some of it comes from the ground, like dust. Some of it comes from our bodies or clothes, like lint, hairs, little pieces of skin. And some of it comes from smokestacks, car tires, or all sorts of other places. There are a lot of bits and pieces of stuff in the air, and they're usually very small, much less than an inch in size. Scientists use a very small unit of measure called micron or micrometer to measure things as small. There are 25,400 microns in an inch. People can see things as small as 10 microns if the light is good. Particles that are smaller than that require a microscope to see them. So 90% of the particles in the air are smaller than 10 microns, so most of the specks in the air are too small for people to see without a microscope. Our bodies are designed to filter particles out as we breathe, but having too many particles in the air can make some people sick. For example, people who suffer asthma may notice their condition worsening in areas with high concentrations of particulate matter in the air, and people's eyes and noses may become more easily irritated. Some particles contribute to the formation of smog. Because particles can make people sick, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, also known as EPA, creates regulations for the amount of stuff that can be present in the air. Air pollutants come from a variety of sources, both natural and man-made. Natural sources include wind kicking up soil particles, salt from waves crashing on the beach, and volcanoes. Man-made sources are probably easier to think of, with some examples being char emitted from combustion, such as cars or cooking, and mining construction kicking up dust. Not all of the particles in the air are bad. For example, dust in the air helps create vibrant red sunsets. Dust can also help raindrops form. Water particles make air more pleasant to breathe. In fact, some particles help people develop immunity to diseases.